Hello and welcome to an intuitive drawing and painting. Here you'll see I'm, I'm laying some, uh, just some random lines onto a page. I don't have a plan. I don't start off with a plan when I draw and paint intuitively. I just start moving my pen and as, as soon as I start to get comfortable with moving my pen, I change and I move my pen in a different direction or in a different location. Here you see I just switched hands. I went from right-handed to left-handed. And I do that quite often in intuitive drawing and painting. Again, it's really important to not have a plan. So what I'm doing is um, I'm working in a black Sharpie. Here you put it, I see I'm putting some shapes on. I decided, you know, those random lines weren't working for me. So now I'm putting some shapes on the page. I try to not control what's happening. As soon as I feel like I'm starting to control it, I take a step back and I change what I'm doing. Uh, this entire drawing took, uh, I worked on it over about three or four, maybe five different sessions. And the entire amount that I had shot video of was about an hour and eight minutes. So that's condensed down here today to about 13 minutes. But you see, I'm moving my hand in, in different, uh, different patterns, different shapes. And as soon as I get comfortable with what it is that I'm doing, I start to change that. And here you see, I'm going through my, uh, you know, I'm just picking out different pens. It's really important also to have everything at your fingertips. You'll see I have out pens and markers and watercolor paint and brushes and all that's on the left-hand side. Um, and there's some up above at the top, but it's important to just have everything at your fingertips so you don't have to think about it. You don't have to go out and get it. You don't, it's just there. And as soon as the thought crosses your mind that, oh, I wanna to switch to blue or I wanna to switch to a thicker pen, you do it. You don't hesitate. You just change very, very quickly. So here you'll see I'm, I'm making some lines and I'm going in, in, a, in a different, um, you know, squiggly kind of a pattern with some little, some little tiny, um, some little tiny loops that I, I keep going back on. That's something that turns up quite often in my intuitive drawings and paintings. Not too sure why, but, uh, but I've switched pens again. And here you see I'm, I'm using a, a different, uh, I believe this is like a micron, but Again, I'm just changing. I'm not doing those sort of those squares and now I switch back and now I'm doing those little squares again. So it's very important uh, also when you're working intuitively to sort of start to respect where it is that you are. And I really take uh, the place that I am, the, the people around me, the things that I'm working on I really take all that into account. And one of the things that I do that I've learned through meditation is something called grounding. It's also called earthing. And in grounding and earthing, um, what it encourages is a more connected, uh, sort of spiritually based connection to the earth. Now, I don't mean spiritually based as in it's it has to be... Um, you know, it's something that I'm worshiping, but it's, um, I'm trying to connect myself to the earth. So I usually work um, in my sock feet, um, no shoes on and on the concrete floor, usually standing um, with both feet on the floor, not cross-legged. I'm usually not sitting. And if I am sitting, I'm sitting up fairly straight. I, I think I've always um, sat up fairly straight but earthing and grounding is important in this uh, type of work. It's for myself, it's important. It gives me a connection that I didn't expect was going to happen. And uh, I, I would encourage you to give it a try. If you look up on YouTube, you'll find, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of videos about earthing and grounding. There's not a lot of videos about it uh, when it comes to art, but um, I think you'll find that it's a, it's a really, really interesting concept give it a try and here you'll see I, I'm working standing up 
uh, and I'm, I'm working in, in black pen only and I've been working in black pen uh, the majority of this video is is black pen uh, near the end I'll start adding some color um, in, in watercolor but just as the experience happens I get used to seeing things I get used to the experience and this starts to evolve into something for me and um, here you see I'm using a, a thicker pen again I've gone back to uh, I'm still working in black but I'm working in a, a much thicker pen I'm drawing some some lines I'm drawing some other shapes I want to encourage you that when you're doing this work don't have an expectation don't expect that my page is going to turn out to be something. Just allow it to happen. Allow it to flow out of you. Now, I don't think any of this work is ever going to end up in an art gallery. I don't think any of this work is, you know, probably the majority of this is never going to be shown. Maybe this is the place that it's going to be shown. But for the, the, the majority of time, I, I don't believe that um, I create work I don't create things for the, for the sake of it being in a show or for the sake of it ending up in an art gallery somewhere. I'm just creating for the sake of creating and I'm allowing the ideas to flow out of me. And that's what I want to encourage you to do. I want to encourage you to create things every day. I want to encourage you that the act of making things is more important than showing them or more important than getting accepted into a juried show. My life is about, I create things that I want to create, and if other people like them, I'm very thankful for it. If other people even ever see it, I'm very thankful for it. So I thank you for watching this video. Um, you know, I'm starting to add some color on here, and uh, I think I'm just going to uh, step back now and let you watch the rest of it. I thank you for stopping by and having a look at my video. Um, I thank all of my subscribers. I, I really do appreciate each and every person who subscribes to my channel. Thanks a lot, and I hope you have a wonderful day.